Been tinkering away a bit on the race car here. Got the transmission sitting in place. Uh, the problem I came up with is uh, the cross member isn't quite going to fit. So I think if I cut this off and uh, move the transmission mount forward to where it can line up with the holes here properly, then uh, what I can do is weld the mount back on here and I think it might just work out for me. So it's going to be something I give a try later. I got to buy a transmit actual mount first because the one that came with the transmission was shot so I gotta buy a new transmission mount. Uh, I got the drive shaft sitting in place that worked out pretty good. Uh, I gotta come up with a conversion U-joint for here for the factory Firebird to a little bigger until I can get a custom drive shaft made to handle all, all the power I'm gonna be throwing at it. For now U-joint will be cheap. So transmission sitting in place bolted in there. Still gotta bolt the torque converter up Again, everything here is just factory. Uh, we're gonna baseline it like this and see how it goes. Um, another thing is there was a big oil filter adapter here for uh, oil cooler lines. Got rid of that, uh, cleaned everything up in here nice and shiny. And then we're gonna put just a factory oil filter adapter in there and run that. On the other side here, the mechanical fuel pump is gone. I got a block off plate for that. Pull this plug out and you can take the fuel pump push rod out. So little stuff that we're taking care of, that'll be on tonight. Uh, I got a dipstick for the big block today. Just stuff I had kicking around my parents' house. Uh, they were going on holidays so they brought it in for me. Um, yeah, small little things I'm taking care of here and there. Uh, I'm gonna have to build some tranny cooler lines. I'll use the old ones, bend them where I need to and then cut them and go from there. And yeah, we'll just, I keep, gotta keep plinkering away here and I'll keep you guys updated. All right, a couple little notes here. When you're bolting the flex plate to the torque converter, these bolts, there's three of them on there. Uh, you'll wanna use Loctite or something on those. Make sure they're not gonna come out. Um, another trick, start all three of them, get them close to being tight, but so they can still wiggle a little bit. These bolts, these, the holes that they go into aren't perfect. So you want that little bit of slack until you can get all three of them started almost tight and then you can turn the engine over one more time tighten them all up again make sure there's loctite or something on there you don't want those coming apart when you're dube driving racing whatever and for the oil filter i'll grab the piece for that which looks like this if you notice there's a ridge that goes all the way around these aren't really meant to be used with gaskets so what you do is you get that up in there Again, a little bit of Loctite on the bolts that hold it up. You torque that in place, and it's not meant for a gasket. It's meant to, for that little aluminum ring to crush a tiny bit against the metal and seal right up. So something to keep in mind if you're ever swapping these things around. So after that, I'm uh, gonna put this cover on or the torque converter. Uh, I gotta find myself a starter because the one that came with the motor was garbage. Um, dipstick headers. Lots of stuff I can do. We'll keep going. All right, we got a nice shiny oil, oil fuel filter block off plate on there now, which looks pretty nice. Brand new bolts in there, make it look good. Uh, torque converter covers on. Keep the dust and dirt and all that kind of stuff out of there. Got the oil filter adapter in here, bypass valve, also known as. These bolts take a measly seven foot pounds of torque to torque them down, so Loctite's an awesome idea on those. So, put an oil filter on here and a dev stick and my uh, oil system is sealed up again, thankfully. All right, let's get some more work done. All right, a little more stuff taken care of. We took out those ugly trailer lights that were in here. Had to take out this whole piece to do it, get everything from the backside and the license plate holder, gone. Looks much nicer that way. So yeah, starting to do just little tiny things all over the place here now. Um, Got to start ordering me some parts. So as soon as my sponsors start kicking in, I can do that. Uh, got the rad mounted. Um, not exactly liking how they have it mounted. So I might have to contact some aluminum welders and get some stuff welded up here and fabricated and figured out. So yeah, lots of things to figure out, lots of stuff to do. Uh, gonna keep going here. All right, uh, as you can see, I've been hard at it again, stripping wiring and stuff. Uh, the wiring is a little bit of a mess in this car. So I got rid of all the wiring, 
to the headlights and marker lights and all that kind of stuff just to make things simpler up front here. We had a solenoid down here and a fuse panel there and then a bunch of wiring everywhere. Uh, it's just going to be easier for me so I know exactly what's going on if I just run a few wires of my own and keep it nice and tidy, clean, neat and then we'll go from there. Um, found the wire for the temperature send sender. I uh, found the wire for the solenoid, uh, alternator wiring, stuff like that. So we'll be dealing with that here in the near future. Um, this weekend, hopefully, uh, we'll get the batteries to go in the back in the trunk so we can uh, start the wiring for the ignition and all that kind of stuff. Lots of work to do. I think I'm done for today. Um, just got some cleanup to do, get the shop so it's not quite such a mess. And uh, yeah, we'll keep following along. We'll show you what we do.